everyone, I am Master Rabbitman and I will be talking about um what did I talk about? Oh yeah, the timeline in my series. I'm a bit sick right now, but I'll try to be as quick as possible. First loop. Okay. Uh strangely enough, okay, what are loops exactly? You don't know that. <laughs> uh a loop is like um it's a multiversal timeline wherein it keeps going at some point but then it stops to a halt because of this massive event and then eventually it loops all over again and then there's a new multiverse. Understand? Get it? Okay. Let's start. <clears throat> uh first loop. Year Zero, Birth of Jesus and the Introduction of Stands. Jesus ends up developing Stands through his um, Stand Power. 1880, Dio Brando meets Jonathan Joestar. Blah, blah, blah. We all know the story. Becoming his adoptive brother, bullies him in his childhood but are forced to pretend to like each other because of Jonathan's father. 1889, Dio Brando becomes a vampire and wreaks havoc and kills several people only to be stopped by Jonathan, who is now a Hammond-using knight. 1938, Joseph Joestar, Caesar Zeppelin, Lisa Lisa, Battle Against the Pillar Man. 1988, The Stardust Crusade, Dio is killed by Jotaro Kujo. 1999, The Morio Warriors event, Yoshikage Kira is defeated. 2001, the Reset to Zero event, Diavolo is killed and Pashon is taken over. And finally, 2011, the first event made in heaven, Enrico Pucci successfully destroys the universe and creates a world made in heaven, only to be thwarted by Prometheus who sends him for you to defeat him. Who is Prome Prometheus? No, he's not the Prometheus in Battle of the Assholes, he is another Prometheus. Mm. Second loop to eight loops. 12th century BC. So basically, it all starts in 12th century BC. And no matter what, or AD pala. Yeah, AD. No matter what, it seems to begin here. Okay? Okay. Oh wait, no, it is BC. I'm so dumb. Prometheus adopted Hercules. However, after this agreement, Hercules leaves Earth to become Olympus' mightiest hero. 1930s, Hercules crash land on Earth. 1991, Bruce Wayne loses his parents. 1992, Dark is born. Batman becomes a vigilante in 1990s. 1990s again, Dark becomes a samurai. 2002, Miguel Ibarra the Reaper is born. 2020s, The Rise of Olympians, Rise of Batman. And finally, 2039, Ma Stefan and Mabus kills every superhero in the multiverse, especially his nemesis Miguel Ibarra, aka the Reaper. Causing a mysterious character called the Prometheus, to loop time all over again in order to stop him. And here is the revised timeline. 10,000th loop. The current continuity. 14 billion BC. Adonai El is sent back to primordial times after he's enlightened. He becomes god of this book and his speech is underlined in his book. He divides himself into three. God. His speech is underlined, goddess, her speech is italicized, and the word, his speech is quoted. He creates, does, he creates the angels. 13 billion BC. A planet known as Nibiru is first created in the Omniverse as the first known planet. It passes by the star system of Sol between Neptune and Pluto in every universe existing as one singular anomaly throughout the entirety of the third world. It then returns to the tenth world, where it belongs. The people there are called Niburoans, a peaceful race. Samael changes his name to Lucifer Morningstar. He is sent back in time and into hell for his crimes in 0 AD and becomes the ultimate form of evil. 6,500,000,000 BC A being known as Adonai El is crowned emperor in his home planet Niburu, which is found at the edge of everything. He rules over various Niburoans in his home planet, named the Pantheon. They live in peace and harmony and are essentially the first beings in the entire universe forming upon its creation. Adonai El, who is a prideful man, decides to create Gaia, a planet moving around the star known as Sol, which would later be named Earth. 10 million BC William Metabane is sent many years to the past and wreaks havoc as a time pirate. 
Bill Cipher is introduced into his dimension. He destroys his dimension and is charged for his crimes. He's also charged for creating white and black diamond and for wreaking havoc all over the multiverse. Yes, William Wetabane is Bill Cipher. 300,000 BC. The first humans, Adam and Eve, are created by Adonael, a prestigious scientist who had been experimenting on plan on the planet for 5 billion years. Humans are born out of a common ancestor between them and Neanderthals. Adonai would then create more humans and would name this tribe the Tribe. 8000 BC, the pantheons known as the Cree create the Metahumans. The pantheons known as the Forticite create the Vesen. And the Dark Gems create the Dorak organisms. So, Metahumans, basically people with powers. Vesen, people who can shapeshift into animal humanoid furries rock organisms false humans they're not really humans they're a parasite race they do so with the help of the high evolutionary rival of Adonai El 7000 BC a rise of Attilan with En Saba Nur as its first ruler the oldest hominid civilization in the world 6,945 BC. After years of tyranny, and Sabanur is locked up by the Attila Knights in what we know now know as Egypt, with the first emperor, Boltagon I. 6,932 to 6,899 BC. 899 BC. The Hyborian Rebellion. 6,000 to 5,000 BC. Rise of Hyborian Age of Attila. Conan the Barbarian becomes a well-known and documented hero in the first as researchers of Earth-616 would come to realize. 5,500 BC, Rise of Sumer, the first human civilization in Mesopotamia. They pray to the Sumerian gods. 5,000 BC, Rise of Kandak, a neighboring kingdom to Simur across the Red Sea. They could eventually split into two nations, Kandak, Kurak, or three and Bialya. They pray to the Enyads. Rise of Atlantis. A highly advanced civilization, they pray to the Olympians. Rise of Talokan. A highly advanced civilization, they pray to the Aztec gods. 4000 BC. Rise of Wakanda. One of the earliest East African nations, they pray to the Enyads. Nyasir would eventually branch off from this nation. The Color Gems Invasion of Earth, SU-52113. <laughs> 3086 BC Thanos is born from an affair between Darkseid and a Titanian woman. He is the half-brother of the Titanium Eternal Eros. Hmm. 3000 BC Darkseid invades Earth but is kicked out by the Olympians who are tasked to protect Earth. Amazon Atlantean War 2300 BC Babylon aka the Tower of Babel rises as the peak of Sumerian civilization at the time. 1880 BC and Sabanur is freed from Egypt and attacks Siboria, causing the Great Flood. The Great Flood occurs and many are killed. Noah, a highly advanced Wakandan man, builds three massive moon-sized spaceships that saved most known species in the world as well as several societies. Just as such an event was wiped from history with the help of the wizards who used the runes of Kafkal to wipe out such memory. But not all. Atlantis, Hyboria, including the Attilan and tribes of it, and Talokan would then be submerged, only a few writers in history knowing of their once great significance. Talokan and Attilan's people would mutate from a mutagenic leak, turning them into a new species of human entirely. Atlanteans? Meanwhile, the Attilanites and Hyboria would be buried inside the Earth's crust and enter Hollow Earth. 1300 BC. Prometheus adopts and raises Hercules. We're back here. Uh, let's see. Oh, Moses, the first true king of Israel, leads the Israelites out of Egypt and establishes Israel at the end of the 40-year journey. 1125 BC. Rise of the Judges, aka the first 12 Grims. They are tasked of leading the Israelite upon Moses' uh, disappearance and be- and protecting them from suspicious circumstances and rather strange creatures. Vesen, <coughs> 694 BC, the rise of the Serpentir, a cult that once believed in the alien race known as the Jotuns and their god Surtur. They would eventually become Vikings. 
600 to 580 BC, the age of the caveman known as Spear and the pet T-Rex Fang in underground Hyboria. Zero. The Great War of Niburu, War of the Gods. Adonai El is transported by the edge of everything back to his home planet to ease the rebelling tribes of his empire, most of which are led by Samael. This would lead to Adonai El's death and becoming one with God back in the past, in the beginning of and end of space-time. Assassination of the Olympian Lu rulers. Zeus would survive the assassination attempt, but Ares would at at assassinate Hera, Poseidon, Hades, the Demeter, and Hestia. Zeus would hide like a coward and become ruler of the massive space tourist destination Omnipotent City, effectively abandoning Diana, whom he had never met, Hercules, and his hundreds of children. Darkseid would replace Zeus as King of Olympus, now known as Apocalypse, and would burn it to the ground, turning it, turning those who spoke against him into Prometheus, parademons, not Prometheus, and using the Omega effect to turn his people into space ogres why would they turn into prometheus that makes no sense the other gods like like do they have gems in their do they have white hair are they space wizards now no that's too powerful of course they're demons because they're minions they're they're mindless they're, they're nothing the other gods would escape to a newly terraformed planet known as new genesis birth of jesus of nazareth save right where was i oh yeah jesus was born okay Darkseid would begin to hunt down all versions of Krypton in the hopes to avoid the prophecy of his death and a human with the help of a Kryptonian. 34. Crucifixion, Death, and Resurrection of Jesus Christ. 650. The Serpent Ears leave Hollow Earth and travel to the North Pole. 790. Asgardian colonization of Earth with the help of Eternals and allowance of the One above all. The Vikings ravage Europe at the first, but a certain tribe would become aligned. The protectors of to keep Earth safe. Marceline, daughter of Abanon in 1029 AD, or Hansen Abadir in another Earth, son of Lucifer Morningstar, is born on Earth 81 to 78 and is hidden by her mother. Simon Petrikov and Betty Groff discover the Enchiridion. 1032 AD, the Ice Crown is discovered by Simon turning him into Ice King. 1033 MY, the Mushroom War would occur, ending with the Mushroom Bomb exploding at the Earth 81278, 78 destroying all of humanity, blah blah blah. We all know the story, Catalyst Comet and crap. And that was how Adventure Time was made. 1121 AD, Markovia splits away from Latveria, becoming two kingdoms in Eastern Europe. 1233, Princess Bonnable Bubblegum and Nettie emerge from the Mother Gum. 1285, 1301 MY, The Vesen Wars, Rise of the Seven Royal Families and Vampiric Aswangs become rulers of Vesen kind. 1521, The Philippines is discovered by Magellan. Spain, trying to find the Spice Islands, then proceeded to try and make everyone there Christian. This would lead to an entire political tension where uh, a small battle would uh, proceed to uh, where they would try to uh, mm, mm, take over uh, Mactan, and that would lead to Lapu Lapu's men killing uh, uh, him and most of his um, 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 so soldiers. Uh, that's, that's a bit too political. 1565. Spain finally conquers the Philippines through Miguel de Legazpi and enslaves his nation for natural resources. 1693. A Spanish priest who becomes an Aswang secretly makes the Spanish monarchs his puppets as he gains control over the Spanish monarchy, one of the seven royal families becoming the leader of the Black Law. 1863. Simon Jojo is born in Earth Grim. In other universes, he is Prince Chrysostomo Ibarra. In most cases, he becomes the hero that changes the course of Philippine history with the bout being by many of the children that came after. 1890. William Whitabane 
becomes Bill Cipher and returns to primordial times to cause chaos throughout the <coughs> omniverse. Sorry, 1896, Simon Jojo or Chrysostomo Ibarra jumpstarts the rebellion of the Philippines with his autobiography and death in the Earth Grim. 1898, liberation of the Philippines, only for it to be colonized by the United States. I am sorry if I'm talking fast. I talk fast. I talk fast. This is who I am. 1906. <coughs> I'm dying. In Earth 777, Chrysostomo writes an alternate version of Noli Matanger and El Filibusterismo, with a similar concept, Simon, as his pen name. But in this world, he wasn't a warrior. Rather, he was just an author that would be killed without any of his family knowing what he had done for the world in earth grim he was well known as the eponymous simon jojo this is exactly what happened in earth grim but in earth 777 it happened in 1906 instead 1929 my life of jonathan joestar in earth star 1957 steve rogers becomes captain america in earth 616 1974, Arthur Jojo is born on Earth Grim. 1980, The Adventures of Joseph Joestar and Caesar Zeppelin, Earth Star. 1986, SpongeBob and Patrick are born. Yes, they are older than Batman. Wrap that around your head. Tony Stark is born. Wrap also that around your head. The fact that he, not only is he the same age as Batman, but SpongeBob and Patrick are both older than these two. And, there, and one of them is dead. 1987, Bruce Wayne is born on Earth 1. 1993 to 2003, to 2003, the Purple Guy Killings causing the creation of the animatronics and soon causes the Later Dude series or Later Dude to occur on Earth 777. 1995, Kal-El is born and sent to Earth. Destruction of Krypton 1. By Dark Side in Universe 1. 1996. The Adventures of Arthur Giorgio and Ventura Zeppeli in Earth Grim. The Rise of Villainy in Gotham. And the whole world as a Joker jumpstarts this uh, villain rebellion and cause the death of the veins in Earth 1. I'm sorry for speaking so weird. I'm sick. <coughs> 1997. Kakarot is born and sent to Earth. Destruction of Planet Vegeta DBZ-87 by... Frieza, in accordance with the orders of his superior Beerus and his other superior dark side. That's Frieza with an E, not an I, because that's weird. 1999, Markiplier is born. 2001, Antonia Zeppel is born on Earth Grim. After a chase, the original Narcos Anastasia is shot by Arthur Jojo and falls into a deep sleep. 2002, Miguel Jojo is born on Earth Grim. Jessica Polnareff is born on Earth Grim. Bruce Wayne meets Henry Duckard and begins his training under him on Earth-1. 2003, Jedan Ligera is born on Earth Grim. 2007, Batman Begins takes place on Earth-1. Bruce Wayne officially becomes Batman. 2008, Bruce Wayne battles against the Joker. Carl Jojo is born on Earth Star in 2010. Jotaro Kujo is born on Earth Star in 2010. 2012, oh no no no, he's born on Earth Grim. Holy shit, I've mixed up the dates here. 2012, Miguel Ibarra is born on Earth 777. 2015, the battle for Gotham takes place on Earth 1. The X-Men meets the Wolverine on Earth 616. 2016, Peter Parker is born on Earth 616. The Bruce Wayne battles against Bane. Uh, 2018, Jake is born. The current incarnation of Catalyst Comet is born. Finn the Human. 2019, Saitama is born on Earth DBZ-1. 2022, Miguel Josuke Higashikata is born in Earth Prince. 2023, Tony Stark becomes Iron Man on Earth 616. Josuke Higashikata born on Earth Star. 2024, Gumball Watterson is born on Earth Taewog 5311. 2025, Batman's return to Gotham. Jorna Giovanna is born in Earth, 6, Earth Star. 2026, Darth Darwin is born Earth Taywog 5311. Shigeo Kageyama is born Earth DBZ A1. 2029 Earth Stars Stardust or Earth Grims. Oh wait, no, Earth Stars Stardust Crusaders defeat Dio. Earth Star. Oh wait, no, in Earth 80 whatever. 1278. Finn the Human and Trunks Briefs defeat an earlier version of Savitar. Oh wait, it, it is Earth Star. That did happen, Earth Star. I'm, I'm so stupid. 
Death of Robin in Earth 1. The Riddler becomes chaos to Gotham and causes the Joker to get out of hand and kill Robin. This makes Batman crazy and begins his killings. Superman, the Man of Steel, is revealed to Earth-1. The Battle of Metropolis occurs. 2031, the death of Superman in the hands of Doomsday. Adventures of Sardis Creators in Earth-Grim. And the feat of Dio Bernardo Salvi. I'm so tired. 2032. Resurrection of Superman and Rise of the Justice League on Earth 1. Gabriel Jojo is born. Uriel Jojo is finally king born. Jack and Jill Maroon are born. 2033. The Infinity War of Earth 616 occurs. Dark Knight's Crisis on Earth 1 occurs. 2036. Era of Birth. The, ha the first half of the Jazz Prince takes place. Birth of the Multiversal Nation of Maharlika. We are finally at the series. Well, actually, we were at the series when Stardust Crusaders Earth Grim came out, but we're finally at the goddamn series. 2037, Shizuka Kuju is born. 2038, The Blip of Earth 616. Secret Wars takes place in Marvel vs. DC's The Secret Wars. Still hasn't come out yet because I haven't thought of the god. No, I have thought of the story, but I still can write it. Yoshikage Kira is killed by Jotaro Kujo. And an ambulance, 2039, 2040. Rise of the One Punch Man, Rise of Whitey Poison, the hypothetical Dragon Ball Super Abridged Broly takes place after entering into rock human conspiracy. Gloria Costello switches parts of her souls with Narcos Anastasia, who was in the form of a rock with her goddess entering Narcos's body and their evilness entering Glorious. 2041, The Golden Era. Second half of the Jazz Prince takes place. Jump Force takes place at around the same time. Secret Crisis also. Dark and Hercules. Diamond is breakable. And finally, Jessica sees a star fall from the sky. Where in reality, it was the beginning of event of Made in Heaven. And finally, the event Made in Heaven. St Stefan fails in his mission somehow because of the events being changed by the eponymous Bill Cipher. Working for an unknown guy. Who we now know is Dark Side, so who cares? Death of the Wolverine 2044, 2050 to 2054, Avatar Twins of Earth and Fire takes place in another universe. 2050, Jojo Rock takes place, December to January 2051, Michaela Jojo is born. And finally, 2051, School with Deadpool takes place, January to June. Jojo Run takes place, February. Uh, Jojo Verse takes place, March. Jazz Fusion, May. Weather Report, Grim, June to August, Emporia with Jojo is born, later Dune takes place September, and finally Superhero War takes place December 2051. I'm done! I'm done! I'm so sorry. I'm so tired. I'm sick. Why did I think of this as a good idea? Look at me. I'm disgusting right now. Fucking disgusting. I love you. Okay. Possible futures. 2052, the beginning of Bizarre Mageddon. 2054, the Bizarre Era. The end of Bizarre Mageddon, beginning in the third era of Maharlika. 2069. Gabriel goes to this part version of the future, this version of the future. And sees basically the world has ended. <sighs> I'm done. That is the only possible future. Oh, yeah, by the way, in 2051, it all that's also where <sighs> on September they meet uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs>